cards. Um, I think for the first card position, I'm gonna go actually with, uh, with, 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 I'm gonna go Chris Paul, I think for the first position. Um, obviously, Chris Paul on a, what, 65-ish win team, almost 70 win team in a year, averaging 15 points, 11 uh, assists, four rebounds, uh, nearly two steals a game, which is absolutely insane, and, un and, and under three turnovers for a guy who has the ball in his hand that much is insane. LeBron is close to four, which kind of makes a big difference, so uh, still as, 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 as crafty, as smart, as a high IQ, as a scoring potential for the Phoenix Suns team, and again, team play, raising players to a different level, I think that sort of obviously takes into account when he does play for the Phoenix Suns, you can definitely see it, there's a difference, so yeah, I think, I think Chris Paul, 100%, I think deserves at least one of the spots on this, and I think their team is, isn't a bad spot, obviously the stat line isn't as, you know, uh, I don't want to say that word, a, a hot sort of looking one, uh, you know, 15 points, 11 assists, that's really great, but, you know, there's probably players out there who scored 30 points who may have a cooler looking stat line, but the impact on Chris Paul, I think, makes a difference. And I think for the other guard position, also very tough, um, is a player with that other factor is that the stat line just looks a lot nicer, and I think I'm going to go with Trey Young. I might switch it, though. That's a very eh thing to say, even though, again, averaging 28 points, 10 assists, three and a half rebounds, um, almost a steal a game as well, shooting how he shoots the ball. I think that one really diminishes the team play to how individually good he is. Um, obviously, in the playoffs, that doesn't count, but in the regular season, he was really the, the constant in that team where he was playing great. The other team just still needs to catch up, I feel, and um, yeah, I don't know, just with that stat line alone is pretty great. He ended the season okay, I guess, and obviously the playoff finish was just eat, but definitely for a vast majority of the NBA season, he was amazing. He was an all-star. He's, you know, one of the best up-and-coming players in the NBA, uh, the superstar of a franchise. I think he crosses a lot off the list, but team play-wise, I mean, 43 and 39 isn't bad. That's good. They were the ninth seed. They won it in the play-in. I think that's pretty cool to see, um, but there are probably some other guards, if I can think really hard, that maybe could be in this spot as well, that maybe just missed that cusp, but I think it's very solid for now. It might change, though, so I have uh, Chris Paul, Trey Young, LeBron, Pascal Siakam, Carly Towns. Not bad, I feel. The All-NBA second team now, and I'm going to start with the forwards this time because it's kind of the easier ones. Um, the first forward, Kevin Durant. I feel like that's also kind of a no-doubt one. Uh, Kevin Durant kind of up and down with injury, and man, the Brooklyn that team was also very up and down. So, I mean, if maybe if it was a fully healthy Kevin Durant series, I mean, season, uh, he probably most likely, yes, would have been All-NBA first team because even in this sort of craziness of the Nets season this year, he averaged 29.9 points, we're gonna round that boy up to 30 points per game, uh, 7 rebounds, 6 assists, 63% true shooting percentage, which is insane, uh, a steal, a block a game, just as many turnovers as LeBron James, which is, I think is actually kind of impressive, um, for how much of a not playmaker KD is, he has a lot of the time the ball in his hands, creating a lot, so, um, yeah, Durant had a good season, obviously, with a stat line, but, I mean, the up and downs of that, of that Nets team was really the big downfall for them, so, again, if it was a fully healthy season, I think KD probably would have been maybe the MVP on the first team, but, man, the up and downs were just too much of, of an up and down, so, I think it's a, a very solid spot. Maybe you can move him down to the third spot if you really want to put in, like, I don't know, Jimmy Butler in third, and then maybe move someone up. I think Jimmy Butler had a really solid season as well, but that's more of a team play than individual plus team play. I think the Heat all played together very well, and I think if Jimmy Butler was technically a shooting guard, I think I would put him over Trey Young, if I'm being completely honest. If I can do that, I will do that and would do that, but, you know, if, if Jimmy Butler is a forward, I can't do it, but I would love to put him into, into this if he it technically could be either a guard or forward. I'd probably have Jimmy Butler in over Trey Young, and that comes into the other position, well, the other position, the other forward spot, I should say. We have DeMar DeRozan. Um, DeMar, again, one of the, uh, I would say, best players this season. Definitely, he was an MVP candidate and really had the, probably the first half, maybe even three-fourths of the year to look like maybe even a top three candidate for MVP. Quite honestly, he averaged 20, uh, 28 points per game, five rebounds, five assists, 59% true shooting 
percentage of steel game as well. And you can just tell, like, he was the motor for that Bulls run that they went on early on in the year, again, being the number one seed in the NBA East, looking like they were going to be, you know, maybe a title contender by the end of the year. Obviously, that didn't turn out to be, you know, injuries and their play and their skill kind of met, and they started to dip a little bit, and then obviously getting a terrible playoff matchup against the defending champs in the first round, like, that's just really bad. Uh, draw the cards, you should say, but I love DeMar. I think he is also one of my favorite players. I love how you know open he is about mental health and the NBA and stuff like that, so uh, I'm very happy to see him having a very successful season individually, but next season with the Bulls, I cannot wait to see what this team can do fully healthy, maybe again some sort of retooling here and there. Super excited. So I got KD, DeMar for the forward spots. Um, let's do the other guards, which might be kind of again rough to do but i'm gonna do it um at the first guard spot i got devin booker i got devin booker as my first guard um i think devin booker and chris paul being yes two teammates on the all nba team which is very rare to do but again on a team that was this dominant in the nba this season i feel like that's kind of worthy i would say 65 win team that's, you know, that's one of the top tier teams in, I don't want to say NBA history, but record-wise, that's a, that's a top tier team, you know what I mean? Not a lot of teams even break 60 wins, you know. Um, he averaged 27 points per game, 5 assists, 5 rebounds, 58% true shooting percentage over a steal as well. Um, I think we definitely saw Devin Booker really turn into more of a, you know, a, a cornerstone player. We all knew that Devin Booker was an instant bucket, you know, he could, you know, one of the best players in the NBA at one point in time, yada, yada, yada. But now he's looking like he can be, like he can run the show for a successful Suns team. Not even just run the show for the Suns, be the best player, but he can be the guy for that Suns team when maybe Chris Paul retires one day. And I'm very happy to see that. So all NBA second team for a player who's, you know, a 65 win team. Also with his teammate being there in the third team, I don't think it's that crazy to think you could argue that if you want, maybe only one player should be on there. I don't know, but... I really like Devin Booker there at, at that second team spot. Um, the other one is um, maybe more not of a fun one to say. Um, and I think definitely at the beginning of the season, this guy was on a crazy run, kind of had up and downs. I think he was injured for some games as well, and it just didn't really finish the season off very well. I got Steph Curry. Yes, Steph Curry, All-NBA, second team, not first team. Um, and again, I feel like just again, the second half of the year was, um, it was good. It wasn't anything amazing. Um, and I think again, with injury, didn't really do that crazy of a job. He still averaged 50, uh, sorry, 50, yikes, 25 points, six assists, five rebounds, 60% true shooting percentage over a steal a game on a 53 win team is extremely, 
some sort of consideration and again um i think either one whoever wins the mvp will make the all nba first team so i would i'll just say this whoever wins the mvp will be on the all nba team list it's either going to be Embiid or Jokic. maybe i'll just leave it at that so yeah my all nba second team is technically steph curry um devin booker kevin durant demar DeRozan, and Embiid slash Jokic, whoever wins the MVP will be all NBA first team. That being said, all NBA first team, again, we already read off Jamal Embiid's stats. Nicole Jokic, the other one, averaged uh, 27 points, 14 rebounds, 8 assists, 66% true shooting percentage, uh, over a steal a game, a block a game on a 48 win team. Again, literally pick your poison, it doesn't matter. I think they both could be all NBA first team, it's just whoever wins the MVP will be. So there's your answer for that. Whoever wants MVP will be the first team. Um, next up, I'm going to do the other forward. Well, one of the forwards, I should say. Uh, Giannis is the combo. No, duh, the other MVP uh, in the sort of conversation, which eh, I think we all know it's, it's really a two-man race this year. He averaged uh, 30 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists, over a steal, over a block on a 51-win team. Very impressive. And honestly, if it was any other year in the NBA, in the NBA's history, he probably would have won it, but the fact that there there's so many great players in the NBA nowadays who are peaking at the right moment, right time, all at once, I think it's, you know, it, it's bad to be this good because a lot of great players, even like Giannis, who would be multiple MVPs in a row probably in any other year or sort of era, a lot, a lot of other great players, but Giannis, great year. Um, I think the Bucks had a solid year. They had a, a lot of injuries and health and safety protocols and Middleton and Holiday and Brooke Lopez and their bench situation is sort of always messed up. Um, they're obviously still a title contender and they'll probably make it to the finals if I, if I can still guess. I think they are still maybe my team to win it uh, at least in the, in, the, in the East. But yeah, I got Giannis in that other forward spot. Pretty easy. Um, one that actually kind of surprised me, which again, um, if you really like DeMar DeRozan, you can definitely put him in that other forward spot. I think again, at him in the Bulls had a very good year. The second half, though, ew, man, that's it was kind of a yikes for there for the Bulls for quite a, quite a bit of, of time. So I think actually with a team that had a pretty solid sort of like two thirds of a season, you could say struggled kind of early in the first half, uh, first like a third of it, but had a pretty nice little ending. Uh, the Boston Celtics, and that's why I'm gonna put Jason Tatum in the All NBA first team, which might again be very controversial. I have no idea. Uh, Jason Tatum averaged. Uh, pretty much 30 points per game. He averaged 27, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, over a steal, nearly a block, on a 51-win team. And uh, I wish I could make this step, this award more into the NBA playoffs because if this was also including the NBA playoffs, oh my god, like Jason Tatum, when that net series was, he was pushing, you know, top 10 player in the NBA type thing. And I think right now, saying Jason Tatum is top 10 isn't crazy. Where would I rank him? I have no idea, but I think it's not a crazy thing to say, so I think this sort of solidifies him as one of the best players in the NBA, and I think that's sort of a fact as of right now. It could change, though, but uh, he looked really good in the, in the season. I think, again, it was more of the team going up and down that you could really skew him in your position on all NBA first or second team. Again, um, the Celtics struggled and just got really, 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 really good at the end of the year, and now they're peaking at the right moment when good Jason Tatum obviously looks really good. Then we have the other guard spots, and one of the guard spots, again, it could be Curry. Uh, you could even argue Devin Booker for sure, um, but for my guards, I have Luka Doncic, and again, that's sort of the one that maybe could be the most, you know, switchable. Uh, Luka averaged 
can't talk about this season and one of the best players and now talk about John Morant even though John Morant won most improved player which eh whatever he should have been maybe even more into an MVP type of conversation uh, John Morant averaged he averaged 27 and a half points per game 7 assists 6 rebounds 58% shooting percentage 1 steal a game as well on a team that went 56 and 26 and if I can be honest, I didn't expect that. I didn't even know if that team was going to get any better this year than they did last year. I thought that, again, they would be a play-in team, 9-8-10 seeded team, making it into the plan, not being uh, one of the top-tier teams in the entire NBA, and who can win games even without having their star player. Absolutely insanity. So, John Morant, I think, more captures this year, and I think that's why I would pick him over again like a Steph Curry-type player or a Devin Booker-type player. If we're talking about this year, you can't talk about this year without talking about how crazy of the run John Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies had. So I think that's why I give him maybe that upper echelon of, of, of a choice, maybe. Um, so yeah, that's my last All-NBA first team. I have Luka, well, I guess Ja, Luka, uh, Tatum, Giannis, and then again, Jokic and Bede, whoever the MVP is, is going to be All-NBA first team. So... Yeah, not bad. And then my second team was Curry, Booker, um, KD, Damar, and again, Embiid or Jokic. And then, I'm sorry, that's sort of a cop-out, but that's literally a coin toss. I really don't care. Uh, and then my third team was Chris Paul, Trey Young, LeBron, Pascal Siakam, Carthy Towns. Again, there are so many other good players to talk about, like Jimmy Butler I was talking about earlier. Obviously, Rudy Gobert from the Jazz, Donovan Mitchell from the Jazz. If you want to maybe take out Trey Young and put in Donovan Mitchell, that also makes a lot of sense. I mean, again, like, Trey Young is, like, my very iffy player, and maybe I would rather have Donovan Mitchell up there. Or, again, if you can cheat on it and maybe put Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Butler would be my, my 1A option for sure. It will be a, a very solid candidate for that as well. Let's see who else we have. Uh, Zach Levine, not bad. Um, yeah, I think that's a, a, a solid sort of other guys sort of listing. I mean, of course, with that center position with Rudy Gobert, who knows? Mitchell, Trey Young, that's a, definitely a really good conversation to have, and there's so many other great players. But again, I think that's that's a good that's a good ending spot, I feel. So, um, yeah. Make sure you guys like the video. If you do like the video, hopefully this was some sort of relaxing or entertaining. I just love talking basketball with you guys, and also giving you guys other sort of trigger roleplay, random, normal ASMR videos as well. So, I love sort of the, where the channel is at right now. I, I love it so much, and I also love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel as well for all the randomness I post on this channel, and I think that's everything. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again in my next video very, 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 very soon.